Within 30 years of the Great Revolt of 1857, with their country on her knees under British exploitation, some Indians dreamt of standing up again. These people were primarily from Bengal, which was the jewel in the British crown. Educated in Western knowledge, but Bengali at heart, they realized that the only way forward was economic independence by developing indigenous technology through innovation and using that technology to market Indian products. The first requirement for innovation was the modernization of one's own language. Ishwar Chandra Biddashagur remodeled the Bengali language and even started a business of publishing Bengali books. Around the same time, Upendra Kishor Rai Choudhury founded the Roy and Sons Company, bringing new technology to the printing press. Meanwhile, Bengalis did not lag behind in scientific endeavors and the monetization of these endeavors through business ventures. Acharya Prafulla Chandra Rai established India's first pharmaceutical company, Bengal Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bosch set up the Bose Institute. Meanwhile, Rabindranath Thakur had begun the process of transforming the cultural landscape of Bengal, ushering modernity into the arts. Parallelly, he also created a unique educational model of boundaryless learning in the form of Bisho Bharati at Shantiniketan. Remarkably, he also worked relentlessly for the cause of rural self-reliance through his visionary reconstruction projects in Sriniketon. For marketing indigenous goods, he introduced unique innovation strategies in the form of rural fairs to promote local industries. Rabindranath even penned advertising campaigns such as Use Kuntalin for your hair, on your hanky del khosh, Chew Tambulin with Flair. Blessed be H. Bose. This H. Bose was Himendra Mohan Bose who expanded his business nationwide, directly competing with British goods. And amidst the all pervading stench of colonial oppression, Dr. Gaur Mohan Dotto introduced Bengal's very own fragrance in the form of the antiseptic cream Borolin. Manufactured by GD Pharmaceuticals, Borolin soon became one of pre-independence India's most successful indigenous products and indeed an integral part of Bengali life. Bengal also stood at the forefront of colonial India's fledgling heavy industry. One of India's pioneering industrialists was Sir Rajen Mukherjee, joint founder of Martin & Burns Limited, one of India's largest construction companies who built the Victoria Memorial and the Howrah Bridge, which quickly became symbols of the city of Kolkata. Sir Mukherjee also went on to establish ISCO, the Indian Iron and Steel Company, Again, one of the first iron and steel plants of India. Continuing his legacy, his capable son Biren Mukherjee became the chairman of the Steel Corporation of Bengal and transformed ISCO's factories at Kulti and Burnpur into foundational pillars of India's iron and steel industry. Meanwhile, answering Gandhiji's call for self-reliance, Chemist and freedom fighter Shotish Chandra Dashgupto invented India's first indigenous ink, Shulekha, which soon became a symbol of the independence movement. While in Jadopur, Kolkata, Kiran Chandra Roy and his two brothers founded the country's first domestic electric bulb manufacturing company, Bengal Lamp and Electrical Works Limited. Around the same time, Alamohun Dash bridged a new frontier by transforming small trade into industry. Through his dedication and visionary leadership in indigenous industrial development, he established several important institutions along with Dashnagar, a brand new industrial township on the outskirts of Kolkata. Almost simultaneously, industrialist Shudhir Kumar Shen ushered in a new era of domestic manufacturing by establishing Shen Rally, India's first bicycle factory. 
Even in the medical sciences, Bengalis were not ready to be left behind. In medicine, Dr. Upendranath Brahmachari stunned the world by combating the deadly Kalazar disease with his parasite killer, urea stibamine. Bhupendranath De established Dei's Medical to provide affordable yet high quality medicines and medical supplies to a country mired in poverty. With poverty being almost universal, serving the poor was essential. But even free service requires resources and infrastructure. Shami Bibekanundo's Ramakrishna Mission and Belur Mott became exemplary institutions combining social innovation with social responsibility, unparalleled in the world at that point of time. Finally, India gained independence. Brilliant scientists and technologists came forward to build the nation. Prashanto Chandra Muhalanobish taught India the significance of data science. Astrophysicist Meghnath Shaha moved beyond his core expertise to design the technology of dams. Industrialist G.D. Birla not only established a massive business empire single-handedly, thereby strengthening the national economy, but also demonstrated how entrepreneurs could excel in philanthropy. In recent times, Dr. Moni Bhomik, a Bengali scientist, has taken science to the masses. He has revolutionized eye care by developing the eczema laser, bringing radical changes in eye surgery to the LASIK procedure. Similarly, Dr. Purnendu Chatterjee, founder of Holdia Petrochemicals, has also walked the path set by Billa. With his TCG group emerging as a business powerhouse of contemporary Science Bengal and India, Chatterjee has also carved out his own path with the TCG group ever exploring new technology frontiers, which also includes quantum research. What connects all these individuals is their creativity and courage. Today's Bengal needs more such trendsetters and path breakers. Those who dream, inspire and dare to live differently. Do you happen to be one of them? Someone who stands out? Someone who's truly unique? Come, we are waiting for you.